This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Born Harbor cycle for calcium oxide. So here we have the complete Born Harbor cycle for calcium oxide. Starting with the bottom left, which is the enthalpy of formation. This involves the formation of one mole of calcium oxide from its elements in their standard states. Next we have the enthalpy of sublimation of calcium. This involves the formation of one mole of gaseous calcium atoms from one mole of solid calcium atoms. We could also use the enthalpy of atomization of calcium, which has the same value as the enthalpy of sublimation. Next we have the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen. This involves the formation of one mole of gaseous oxygen atoms. We could also use half the bond energy of oxygen, which has the same value as the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen. Next we have the first and second ionization energies of calcium. This results in the formation of one mole of gaseous 2 plus ions. Moving over to the right we have the first and second electron affinities of oxygen. The first electron affinity of oxygen is exothermic and the second electron affinity of oxygen is endothermic. And finally we have the lattice enthalpy. This results in the formation of one mole of gaseous calcium ions and one mole of gaseous oxide ions. So in this video we'll use the born harbor cycle to calculate the enthalpy of formation of calcium oxide. In this table we have the values of the enthalpy changes. Starting with the enthalpy of sublimation of calcium, which is 178 kilojoules per mole. As mentioned previously, we could use the enthalpy of atomization of calcium, which has the same value. Next we have the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen, which is 249 kilojoules per mole. We could also use half the bond energy of oxygen, which has the same value. Next we have the first and second ionization energies of calcium. After that we have the first and second electron affinities of oxygen. As we can see the first electron affinity is exothermic, but the second is endothermic. And finally we have the lattice enthalpy of calcium oxide. So next we'll input these values into the born harbor cycle. So here we can see the born harbor cycle together with the enthalpy change values. If we apply Hess's law, the enthalpy change of formation is equal to the enthalpy change of sublimation of calcium plus the enthalpy change of atomization of oxygen plus the first and second ionization energies of calcium plus the first and second electron affinities of oxygen minus the lattice enthalpy of calcium oxide. So next we'll use these values to calculate the enthalpy of formation of calcium oxide. So here we have the equation to calculate the enthalpy of formation. And here we have the equation together with the values. And this gives us an enthalpy change of formation for calcium oxide of minus 627 kilojoules per mole. 